Pearson is a global company based in London. Today, Pearson is trying to transform itself into the world's most significant and important education company. This is a 171-year-old company that got its start as a construction business. Eventually and slowly, they diversified into other businesses such as Madame Tussauds Wax Museum. And today, they're trying to dominate the world of education online and online. It's been a long time coming, this transition. It started under CEO Marjorie Scardino, who left at the beginning of 2013. Under Scardino, the company acquired a lot of different businesses, primarily technology-based businesses. She realized that technology was the wave of the future, online testing, online education. But what she didn't do was consolidate everything. Uh, and that has fallen to John Fallon. I'm John Fallon. I'm the uh, CEO of, of Pearson. John Fallon, who was the head of International, uh, became CEO in the beginning of 2013. Their biggest business is in the U.S. They do 60% of sales in North America. As the Common Core has come into place in the U.S. and also following No Child Left Behind, the U.S. education system is becoming much, much more about tests. And Pearson has slowly developed sort of a vertical in the sense that they are involved in every element of education that they do the creation of the curriculum, they do the creation of the materials that are used in teaching, they create the tests, they score the tests, they assess the teachers who are in fact teaching the children. And many people believe that Pearson actually has gotten too much control in this space and has become something of, some people call it an octopus that is trying to squeeze out everyone else. There's now a giant backlash going on. And the backlash is coming from both the left and the right. And Pearson is kind of caught in the middle here because the left believes that all this emphasis on high stakes testing that is created by a corporation is somehow inherently bad for students. The right, on the other hand, believes that centralizing education is bad and that they want to leave these, these decisions to the local groups. Now, of course, the local and the national school district people have been involved in the development of all this stuff, but Pearson gets tagged as being the villain on both sides, and I think that that's one of John Fallon's biggest problems right now. It's one thing when you're selling toothpaste. It's another thing when you're selling education, and people care about education. People care about it. It's about their children. It's about their livelihood. It's about their futures, really. And, and I think that Pearson has learned in some ways the hard way that it's a lot more difficult to create a business around this customer when the customers have so many different needs and, and viewpoints on education. The title of my story is Everybody Hates Pearson, and I think that is the biggest challenge that this company faces, merely by being present in the business of education.